I'd like to do one application problem that involves adding integers together. Um, and so in this story problem, um, it says, suppose I had $850 in my checking account on Sunday. On Monday, I wrote a check for $45. On Tuesday, I made a purchase on my debit card for $400. On Wednesday, I deposited a paycheck of $395 and made a purchase on my debit card of $200. On Thursday, I wrote another check for $150. What was the balance in my account at the end of the day Thursday? So, really, you could, I suppose, do this problem uh, without introducing the concept of, of integers necessarily, uh, but I think that using the idea of integer addition is rather nice here where we understand that when when we're deciding what we have after a certain day um, we're just going to add every single time now if it is some sort of withdrawal from our account we'll call that a negative number and if it's some sort of deposit in our account we'll call that a positive number so if we're starting off with eight hundred fifty dollars that's going to be a positive number that we're going to start out with. So it says on Monday I wrote a check for $45. Well, that's money coming out of my account, so I will count that as a negative amount of money. So I'm adding a negative amount. On Tuesday I made a purchase on my debit card for $400. That's also a negative money coming out of my account. On Wednesday, I deposited a paycheck of $395, so that's good. That's money coming back into my account. So I'll be adding a positive $395, but then on that same day, I made a debit card purchase worth $200, so that's another uh, negative number indicating money coming out of my account. Finally, on Thursday, I wrote another check for $150, so that's another negative. Now, as we saw in a previous video, sometimes it's nice to gather all your positives in one place and all your negatives in one place. So let's put our 850 and our 395 together. And then we'll put all the negatives together. And remember, the reason that we like to do this when there's lots of positives and negatives involved is because uh, it's going to cut down on the number of steps that we have to take to solve this problem. Because I can just simply add the positives together. 850 plus 395. So we get a total of 1,245 um, in the positive, but then we can just add up all the negatives at once. So that's kind of nice. So we've got 45 plus 400 plus 200 plus 150. Add those up. We've got a 5 here, a 9 there, and a 7 there. So this is plus negative 795. And then finally, we know we're just going to subtract these two numbers, 1245 minus 795, because the signs are different. Uh, so let's see here. I need to borrow 1, and that's 14. We get 5, but then we're going to have to borrow again. 11 minus 7 is 4. So since the positive number has a bigger our absolute value positive wins thankfully for our bank account and we end up with four hundred fifty dollars at the end of the day Thursday